Dear Diary, I have come here once again, trying to take my mind off the things I often think about. It has been a tad chaotic nowadays. I'm not really sure what I'm expected to do now that I am no longer forced to take care of slowly rotting donors. I do not think they ever thought of the possibility of a carrot suddenly vanishing from Hailsham. Hell, I had not thought of it either. What I do often think about is my first couple of years in Hailsham. To be fair, I do not think I will ever forget about them, nor the people I surrounded myself with. Of course, Hailsham is closely binded to her, Kathy, I mean. There was this particular event that showed me just how kind and simultaneously independent Kathy was. It was a sunny yet gloomy afternoon. The boys were all quick to gather in the North playing field to play football. I was hyped too, up until I realized what was going on. I was wearing my favorite polo shirt back then. It was light blue and had only recently bought it. Of course, the picking started shortly after, although I was not to be picked anytime soon. Once I finally realized what their initial plan was, I started bowling my eyes out, making a scene and cussing all over. Their stomping footsteps fading out as they ran away from me haunted me for weeks after that. My shirt had multiple stains due to the mud flying everywhere with each flick of my foot. I had not noticed it yet. Tell me, your nice shirt, you will get it all messed up, I remember Kathy saying. So unnecessarily kind-hearted. I still feel bad about slapping you when I started shrugging, even if it was unintentional. Then, the harsh words I spoke of, I never should have mouthed these words. It had something to do with you. Otherwise, you would not have cared enough to walk up in the middle of the field and comfort me with your words. I knew you were disappointed me in me after walking off. I even heard Ruth calling me out for my actions. Maybe she was right. Maybe I really am a straight-up mad animal. I wish you were here so we could discuss about all these, Kathy. I just know you would try and comfort me about my guilt ridden self. Someday, maybe, we will be able to once again meet and exchange our memories, just like I'm doing right now on this also ruined diary. Tell me, 